Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. So, we completed Jack's side mission last time where we went to, I guess you could call it a childhood home, where the Cerberus base where she was tortured, experimented on, transformed, and blew the place to smithereens. Uh, but quite a hollow kind of thing for her to do, more of a just kind of a. I don't know. Hopefully a sim symbolic, maybe, of her leaving her past behind, perhaps, I'm not sure. But yeah, she still cuts a pretty tragic figure, but she she's she's appreciative of it, and maybe it's the beginnings of change for her now that she's in a safer place, safer environment, in a way. And we took Tali with us, let's see what, if she has anything to say about the Shepherd, mission. Shepard, what can I do for you? Uh, your work? Is the new Normandy giving Please, you a Shepard, I'm a quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. Sure. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Alright. Talk to you later. That's crazy having such a big squad. Because I can't take all of them out. I wonder if they thought about uh, making the combat for four, four players or something for this game. Right, we need to decide what quest we're doing next. I've got quite a lot of codex entries, so I'm going to have a quick check on them. And then I'll decide where I'm going to go. My problem is, I would, uh, to be honest, the quest I would probably most like to do now would be Miranda's. It just seems quite intriguing. Twin sister, to do with the father, her whole backstory is interesting, even if she is a bit caustic in some ways. But her quest is interesting. I would like to go and find Liara, but it's just it's, there's so much main quest stuff in that cluster. I kind of want to do a bunch of other side stuff in case it triggers more collector missions before I'm ready, if that makes sense. Got ships and vehicles, weapons, armor, and equipment. Right, I'm not going to read these just for the time being, if you don't mind, guys. I'm interested, but I just want to get some qu I'm questing at the minute. Uh, we've got Kasumi's quest as well, obviously. Uh, I wonder where, where is Tuchanka? Oh, we're, well, we've got other places to explore in this system. Uh, okay. Let's have a look at the other star clusters. I've not done any scanning, I've just started recording immediately. I know basically that I'm going to have to come back here, so... Right, uh, Katasi. Let's just have a look first. Wow, what has happened to this star? Um, is, that, is it a white dwarf? Not a dwarf, it's massive. What are you on about? Um, Nare Naresa is an unremarkable methane ammonia ice giant with a small family of ice moons. It's likely that the Katasi system had additional worlds earlier in its history, but these have been swallowed by the aging giant star. Katasi is an elderly, metal-poor population 2 star, broadly similar to Arcturus. Moderate. Alright, it's not the time for this. Okay, there is n literally nothing else here, unless we blow ourselves up by flying in the star. Uh, Kalabsha. Okay, two planets here. This looks like a garden world, right? With over 90%... Uh, yam. <laughs> Yams! Uh, with over 90% of its surface covered in oceans, Yam is habitable is a habitable nitrogen oxygen world it takes extremes can be quite hostile to sapient life the heat from its extremely long days reaches dangerous levels ranging from 24 c at night to 53 in the afternoon in the temperate zones hurricanes 
run unchecked across the oceans with winds reaching up to 250 kilometers per hour. While there are some arthropod-like animals, the predominant forms of life are various kinds of toxic algae, algae blooms, that stretch hundreds of, kilom hundreds of kilom kilometers across. However, other biohydrocarbon algae blooms are suitable for use as biofuel, and farming the green gold forms the backbone of Yam's economy. Oh, it's got a colony of half a million people. Does it say what race it is predominantly here? No, must be just a mix. Oh, every time. Just let me press escape. Oh, I didn't start the scan, did I? Oh, this is moderate as well. Oh, I saw element zero, though. Probe away. Probe launched. All right, that's Probe enough. Away. Um, I can come back. Don't do not worry. There is video documentation of where I haven't been. <laughs> Hence. Uh, Tefnut. A hydrogen helium gas giant, Tefnut, is home to a helium-3 collection and the nearest refueling facility to the Nubian Expanse's mass relay. As such, it's a major gateway to the Verge and Terminus systems and has become famous for its hospitality industry. Tefnut's motto is known throughout the galaxy, like home, only better. Visitors here can stay at expensive resort stations, watch locally produced entertainment, buy mind-affecting substances not welcome in Citadel space, and rent companionship. Resources are shipped in from Yam at substantial discounts, allowing the small space stations to have surprising luxuries such as edible arthropods and large amounts of fresh water. Population of 33,000 spread across five space stations. Interesting. Ah, oh, poor. See you later. All right. Let's head back to Dhaka. We have used half our fuel. Yes, yes, yes. All right, um, maybe to Chanka. Maybe I'm not sure. Maybe we'll do. Uh, we can't do a mission if I've forgotten her name. Uh, Kasumi, for God's sake. Right, the Krogan DMZ. Okay, uh, Jacob can do one for the time being. These are miniature side quests. The Normandy crash site, crash site might be nice. But yeah, Miranda, Liara, the Assassin, Justicar. I think Tachanka is sounding like the most uh, tempting thing right now. We will go to the local cluster at some point, right? <laughs> Fire some probes at Earth. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, this this could be good, right? Who are we going to take, though? Who are we going to take? Because I don't really want to take Grunt. I don't know. Maybe we should just take Grunt. He is a Krogan, right? Yeah, we're going to Tchanka. We've got to take Grunt. Come on now. As if I was even debating that. Right, let's just scan everything first. No doubt Krogan live on all these worlds. Ruan. The smaller of Aralax hydrogen helium gas giants maintains a small helium-3 recovery infrastructure. Although the depth of Ruan's gravity well make, makes it inefficient to ex export, visitors to Aralax Aralax system often top off their fuel tanks at Ruam stations. The Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission maintains a token garrison to monitor any potential sale of fuel to known subversives and terrorists. Thousand people. 
Oh. Pauper planets. Space elitism. Nith. We'll be going there at some point in the future. V Vol is a hydrogen helium gas giant named for an for an ancient Krogan deity that stood watch for enemies of his pantheon. The gas giant's moons are named after some of Vol's myriad eyes and ears. The only reason to visit the Vol system is scientific curiosity, which the Krogan lack. Okay, it's a moderate planet, I can come back. Where's this? Oh, it's the mass relay on the outer ring. Okay. There's three planets in the middle, right? No. Uh, Kruban. Kruban is a tidally locked Venusian hothouse. Its surface perpetually obscured by clouds of sulfur and carbon dioxide. The first group of Krogan brought it into orbit by the Salarian uplift teams requested. The first group of Krogan brought it, it brought into orbit by the Salarian uplift teams requested a trip to Kruban. The Salarians at first thought the Krogan were confused about the nature of Kruban's environment. The planet is named for a Krogan mythological paradise in which honorable warriors feast on the internal organs of their enemies. In fact, Krogan astronomers had correctly deduced, deduced the nature of Kruban in the years before the global holocaust. In the two millennia since, Kruban had come to be thought of as an ideal test of one's toughness. Every year, a few Krogan attempt to land on Kruban and exit their ships naked in an attempt, in an attempt to prove their Kroganhood. The planet's surface is littered with crushed, corroded remains of their ships. Only one, Shaf Norda, is known to have returned from the surface alive, albeit with most of his bones crushed and all four of his lungs damaged by sulfuric gas. Norda recovered from his trial to the adulation of his people. Until he died in 1943, he could lie with any fertile female he wished. This will be rich, yeah. Come, I'll come back. I'm here for the law, not the resources. Canaan. One of Canaan's hemispheres contains an impact crater 700 kilometers in diameter, dubbed the Renkat Basin. It was mined for light metals in the interbellum between the Rachni War and Krogan rebellions. Any obvious resource concentrations have long since been stripped. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh Oh. I knew there was a little one. Jurak is a small, heat-blasted rock lost in the blinding glare of the star Aral Aralak. It occasionally traps a trace atmosphere of gases blown in on Aralak's powerful solar wind, which invariably blow the gases back out again. The planetoid has a few valuable loads of heavy metals, which were sporadically mined by the Krogan at the height of their power. In the closing years of the rebellion, the five clans working the planetoid fell to fighting over a particularly rich deposit of iridium. All five clan warlords agreed to a crush, a meeting at a neutral location to negotiate a truce. Unfortunately, all five arrived planning to betray their fellows. While the leaders and their seconds met, all the bases were destroyed by simultaneous hypervelocity cannon strikes. Left with only the food, water and air in their hard suits and with no way to call for rescue, the warlords apparently fought each other to the death. The survivors of the five Jurak clans on Tachanka still argue about which clan's warlord was the last one standing. These little planets, man, are always rich. Alright, I'm nervous about this. Oh dear. Tachanka. I didn't think we'd get to come here, you know. Scarred by bombardment craters, radioactive rubble, choking ash, salt flats and alkaline seas, Tachanka can barely support life. Thousands of years ago, life grew in fierce abundance under the F-class star Aralak, a rake clan word meaning Eye of Wrath. Tree analogues grew in thick jungles, their roots growing out of shallow, silty seas. Life fed upon life in an evolutionary crucible. 
This world died in, a nucle in nuclear firestorms after the Krogan split the atom. A little ice age. I just spat all over the place. Uh, a little ice age of nuclear winter <laughs> killed off much of the remaining plant life. In, the re in recent centuries, many Krogan have returned to their homeworld. The reduced albedo has caused global temperatures to rise. In order to maintain livable temperatures, a vast shroud was assembled at the L1 Lagrange point. It's maintained by the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, which is based on orbiting battle stations. Advisory. Visitors to Chachanka land at their own risk. Um, CDEM CDEM will not attempt to extract citizens threatened by clan warfare. Travel advisory. The ecology of Tachanka is deadly. Nearly every native species engages in some predatory behavior. Even the remaining vegetation is carnivorous. <laughs> Travel beyond guarded areas is strongly discouraged. Population 2.1 billion. Capital currently Erdnot since 2183. Okay. Man, this has to be something to do with Rex. Because it's. I'm sure, didn't we hear something when we were catching up on the crew? Didn't the elusive man tell us that he's gone back to his homeworld? Okay, so we, we have to take... Uh, no, we don't have to take um, Mordin, but we're going to take him because this is his quest. Um, should we take Grunt? Oh, we've got to take Grunt. We've got, we've got to take him. We'll take him in his standard armor, though. That covers his eyes too much. It's going to raise some eyebrows, but we're doing it. All right, let's buff Incinerate. Oh, Krogan Berserker. Yeah, I think we, we should buff that after this. I don't know, we could buff Concussive Shot because we're going to have three points, right? Krogan Berserker. Uh, pure blood. Grunt's mastery of his blood rage increases his already fantastic regeneration rate, letting him survive wounds that would kill other Krogan. Health plus 50%, regeneration 55 points per second. I think I'm going to take the weapon damage to be honest. Grunt can go berserk without losing his lethal focus, increasing his weapon damage. Yeah, I'm going to take the damage for him. If I call him Rex by accident from time to time, don't, don't at me. <laughs> uh, so apparently ammo... can be used by everyone in the squad, right? I could be wrong about that. Oh, there we go. Squad incendiary ammo. Right. That is good. Okay, I guess we invest in this then. Because it has benefits for the whole squad. Um... Yeah, let's give him this, because it's just it's just for the Krogans, right? Oh, for God's sake, Matt, remember the heavy weapon. Thank you. What do I want? I, I do quite like the particle beam. Let's try I didn't really use the missile launcher last time I had it, so... Let's go. Now, I'm probably going to get attacked straight away. Well, lovely to see your home, Rex. Okay, we're being greeted in a reasonably friendly way. Blood pack. Blood pack recruiter. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The blood pack only recruits Krogan. And Vorcher. Hey. The clan leader wants to speak with you. 
Keep your pet on a leash. Clanless Krogan are usually killed on the borders. Okay. Take your business to the clan leader. Man, this has got to be Rex. It was said that he came back, right? I know he was kind of... Yeah. Talk to Scout then, or Chief. Either one acceptable. Interesting that we didn't have to bring uh, Maud in, right? Is that Rex? I see red. Standing on. Careful, Never mate. Thought I'd miss the tank. Uh, how do we get up there? Hit fight gambling station. Um. Um. <laughs> Guys. I'm sure we'll get to explore this more thoroughly. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talks. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Good enough? Big man. Excuse me. <laughs> Out of my Shepherd! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepherd. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. That get me a bit emotional, Rex. Is his voice different? Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. <laughs> You made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. <laughs> Big one spoken to, Bulbank. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. I think it's a different voice, isn't it? Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? I don't know. He, may, he might just be more, a more like mature version. Yeah. I would say sky high, but it was in space. It's blown up, mate. Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. <laughs> what can you tell me about your work here? Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. 
It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. Hmm. Uh, how are you keeping control? How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. Okay. Um... So that seems reasonable. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. Sure. So why bother with the weaker clans? What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. Yeah. That diversity makes us great. Yeah, very true. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Yours is dominant, but I, I understand what he's saying, but this just progresses the conversation. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Jorgal has the longest breeding line. Gadatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even or not, we need to rethink, restart. Okay, so you're sharing your females? What do the women of Clan Erdnot think about this plan? <laughs> it was our female clan leader's idea. Yeah. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend mm. Clan Erdnot. So there are female-only clans, or female-led clans, I guess. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. And how's it all going? Well, this sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. How are you dealing with Greenhead over here? Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained barren. Always <laughs> fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Yeah, a bit risky though. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Yeah, fair enough. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. Okay, um, so uh, time for my business. Weird that nothing's being brought up about Grunt, but maybe he's got his own quest. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchanka, but you're an exception. Okay, Solarian. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. Okay. Oh, I've missed out on an option. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. <laughs> Alright, that was awesome. A shame that it's a different voice actor, you could really tell, but... Uh, still really nice to see Rex. Urs. Hey there. Good Varen. 
<laughs> Stay. Okay. Merchant. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. You okay dealing with humans? Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an nerd not except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. Sure. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What are you what selling? Do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rin calls a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. <laughs> He's not joking. Rin call hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. Uh, Pijak? Piax? The hell is a Pijak? Oh, Pijak. Off world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to oh, stop Oh, torture. Them. Why'd you call the Pijaks off world vermin? An alien trader landed here a few years back. He had goods he salvaged from some place called Elitania. Said they were stowaways. They swarmed off a ship and started stealing food and shitting everywhere. What happened to him? I can't imagine you let him walk away after that. Not a chance. One ball of pie jock dung nailed the leader of Clan Forsan across the forehead. <laughs> That's apparently grounds for execution. I can help. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent Aww. in the pie jack population. You get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. How do we do that? Alright, I don't want to kill those little monkey things. But... If it gets me a discount, then sure, I'm all for murder. I'll do that uh, a bit later. Watch it, human. All right. Let's see what the human can do. Where are they? Oops. Okay, we've got to time this. No! I think that counted. Nailed him. Oh god, have I got limited missiles now? Show yourselves. Missed one. Oops. How many of these have we got to do? Three. This would be a lot easier to use the mouse on, right? That didn't work. Two for one.
Missed. Let's go buy some stuff, then we'll talk to the scout. Should I ask the female clan for right of parentage? Why bother with all the I lost half my stock in seeing those vermin roasting the heat from an explosive shell. I swear it was glorious. All right, let's get down to business. I didn't do that for my health. Let's talk payment. You have a lot of skill with those cannons. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. I should go. Awesome. Suit yourself. That's not very profitable, but all right. Payak meat. The favorite of Varin. Yeah, sure. Uh, heavy weapon ammo capacity, heavy damping gauntlets, increased shields. Yeah, definitely. A death mask. Negotiation bonus. Phalanx heavy pistol. Nice. Highly accurate and lethal sidearm. Effective against armor. Weak against shields. Yep. Upgrades the predator heavy pistol. The M5 Phalanx is the product of the Alliance's offensive handgun project that developed a close-in close, close -in weapon to be used on armoured and shielded targets, with no loss of stopping power in comparison to the soldier's assault rifle. The Phalanx enjoys a ballistic advantage even over most hand cannons, and features an integral laser sight which, are highly, which is highly visible even in bright lighting conditions. Civilian variants are often purchased by colonists on planets that have particularly dangerous big game animals. Perfect. Death mask, really? Tyrael. Tyrael? Is that some sort of uh, Blade Runner reference? That heavy ammo weapon, that is so expensive, man. I'm not buying these for now. We can come back, right? Uh, where's our pistol? Oh, let's go talk to Scout. Give me a reason. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. Uh, uh tell me about yourself. So you're in charge of Erdnot Scouts. Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Yeah, fair enough. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. Uh, the threats of the food? Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Fair enough. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Hmm. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Sure. What's your duties? What does a scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide-and-seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. Yeah, it sounds like guerrilla tactics. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. 
Everyone does this? So every clan on Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. <laughs> we are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Okay. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Farron here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol. Keep them honest. Yeah. Thanks for the information. Whatever. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. Uh, a Solarian. I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. <laughs> uh, Solarians? Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? Torturing him, probably. I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. Yeah. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. All right. What about this base? What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Right. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Yeah. Blood rage, they call it. Uh, what about Rylock? What's Clan Warlock's reputation? And how are they involved with the blood pack? Tough humps. And they're not friendly like we are. <laughs> you ever run into the blood pack? Yeah. Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it. One of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics. Totally devoted to Warlock Guld. Whatever they did with your Solarian... Gold's behind it. So they're not all Krogan? Like, yeah, because they've got uh, Vorcha with them. The Blood Pack has non-Krogan members like Vorcha. Ha! Huh, the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. <laughs> the Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. What about Gold? What makes Gold so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Okay. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Yeah, Lucky. fair enough. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. Same for gold. All right. Thanks, mate. Oh. Oh, but we have to... Alright, this is specifically to do with this quest. Uh, yeah, this is who we came here with, so... Sure. Oh, this is only an upgrade for the Predator. S5B or S6B? Ok, 
Okay, so we're only going to be using this for the laser sight, right? I'll give it a try. And you keep that one, I guess. Might be a mis uh, we, we don't have a choice with Mordin, so... Oh, we, can't, we don't get to drive it. Fair enough. Wow, this is a wasteland, dude. I think, this, I think this takes more ammo, which means it might not be as... Right there, they, yeah, laser sight. Remix. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry guys, I think I'm going to uh, end the episode there. Uh, I can't keep recording at the minute, I need to stop, so... Uh, this mission is going to be quite long anyway, I doubt we'd get it finished in 15 minutes, so uh, I'm just going to leave it there and we'll complete it in the next episode. So, it was really nice seeing Rex, we've made our way to Tachanka. I really didn't think we'd get to go to homeworlds like this, but it's really awesome getting to go here, because yeah. Uh, but I guess the Krogan are kind of quite spread out now because of the nuclear holocaust and everything. <laughs> but yeah, we'll pick it up from here next time with Mordin and Grunt and try and rescue this Salarian operative, although I don't hold that much hope for him. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like if you did. Just remember everyone, never trust an on crate. See you back on Tachanka.